Hello, welcome to my lecture. In this session, I will discuss the CMOS transistor, especially the CMOS field effect transistor body effect. This is an important topic. In integrated circuits, so the body or the substrate is shared among all the transistors. To guarantee the body to source junction remain reverse biased for all the NMOS transistor in this integrity circuits, the substrate usually needed to be connected to the most negative uh, the voltage source in the circuits. For example, negative VSS, which is the smallest voltage in the circuit. Now, the reason we are doing that is because if any body to source pin junctions become forward biased, and then we're going to have a, a large current leakage that will result in a, a catastrophic failure in the transistor operation. As you can see from here, this is a cross-section of a field effect transistor uh, we mentioned in the earlier session. Field effect transistor has four terminals. It's a four terminal device, and we have a gate, source, and drain, and also the body. And the body is, is P-type material, and the source and the drain are both uh, heavily doped N-type material, and then we form and the two junctions here. These two pin junctions will form a depletion region, and then that actually helps the transistor to operate. If we have a, any forward bias on this pin junction, and then we are going to cause a huge current leakage. And that current leakage will result in a catastrophic failure in the operation of transistors. But to avoid this problem, the problem of forward bias, the body to source pin junction, so one idea is to connect the body terminal to the source terminal for all the transistors in the integrity circuits. And that's what I mentioned. We usually will connect the body to the source. However, since the body is shared among all the transistors, sometimes we cannot do that. For example, for some uh, amplifier configurations, such as the, the common gate amplifier we discussed in the previous session, and we, can, we cannot connect the, the most negative voltage to the source. And because our input is at the, at, at the source, well, if we connect the body to the source, and then we cannot make the amplifier work. So instead, we will only connect the body to the most negative voltage source and connect the source to the signal source we need to amplify. Now, this arrangement will cause some effect because the voltage difference between the body and the source, because the body is more negative, and then we are going to have a, a wider depletion region, and this wider depletion region will in turn decrease the channel depth. And when the channel depth decreases, its behavior will be changed. So the effect of this body to source voltage on the channel can be mostly conveniently represented as a change in the threshold voltage. So according to the following uh, equation here, in this equation here, and Vt now actually is the threshold voltage for VBS equals zero. So when we connect body to the source. And this phi f, 2 phi f here is, is about 0.6 volts, which is the, the material dependent and Fermi potential. And the gamma here is the fabrication process parameter. Notice in this formula here, a change in the VBS will produce a change in the Vt and with this body effect. Now this change in the threshold voltage will change our current. But even though our VGS doesn't change because the channel depth changes with the changing of the VBS as we, we just learned. Consequently, this, this body voltage and the VBS will control this uh, drain current, just like the gate voltage VGS uh, does. So in other words, 
the body now actually is acting as a second gate. Sometimes we call it uh, the back gate. A change in the body to source voltage VBS will cause the change in the drain current. As we were just saying, this behavior can be quantified for time varying signal by the relationship of ID equals GMV and VBS. Now, VBS is small signal change between the body and the source. And the GMB here is called the body conductance and defined from this formula here, which is the partial derivative of the drain current with respect to the changes of the body to source voltage. It can be shown that this body conductance is proportional to the transconductance of the transistor and by a parameter of, of chi here, and this chi is dimensionless and typically with a value of 0.1 to 0.2. For small signal modeling, a second current source is usually added to the MOSFET equivalent circuits. This second current source is dependent on VBS. Alternatively, the small signal T model for the MOSFET amplifier with body effect is shown on the right. And here we have a GM VGS plus GMB VBS together to form the current. Okay, this is a, a short lecture actually, but this is a very important concept you should keep in mind when you design the amplifier, especially when you configure the amplifier. Make sure the body is properly uh, biased, either to the ground or to the most negative uh, voltage supply or connect to the source. Depends on the situation. Only if you have a, a proper understanding of this body effect, then you can provide a valid design in your MOSFET based amplifier. In my next lecture, I'm going to discuss one of the amplifier configuration and based on MOSFET, now that is discrete common source amplifier. And see you in next session.